Hi, year 2020 bringing lot of new insight and all of us are talking about humanity which was the topic left behind. We are thinking, we are talking about where do we really want to be. For those who do not know me, I am Praveen, certified quality leader, author, success coach and CEO at GNC Consulting. All of us are chasing personal and professional goals. Professionally, one most significant goal that we talk about is growth. Growth in our career, growth in our business. But actually, if you see day-to-day -day life, people value autonomy more than growth. Autonomy is when you can decide and take action based on what you think is right, rather than somebody else telling you what to do. This is called liberation, corporate liberation. As per our ancient roots, there are three paths for achieving liberation, wisdom, devotion, and action. Wisdom means knowledge, insight, and consciousness about self. Consciousness about who am I? What is the purpose for being here? Sometimes we get carried away by false ego of chair we occupy. Power brings arrogance. We think, I earn more, so I need not work. I'm senior, so I can shout. But people with wisdom know that nothing is permanent. Everything that we have actually belongs to the chair and not us. We are not the chair. Sometimes there is a derived power, like my brother, my father, my uncle is a CEO, so I need not respond to email or calls. Email, calls, phone, messages, texts. All of this is illusion. Wisdom tells us, respect everyone, irrespective of their level or designation. Everyone is here for the purpose. Every power conferred to us is for the purpose. Purpose of a corporate leader, as, de as defined by vision, mission, or strategy, is to bring in change, transform, make this a better world. Better world for the employees, better world for the customer, better world for the stakeholders. And wisdom is aligning ourselves to the purpose. Leaders with purpose focus on customer. As they know, customer is the king. And this is the only path for organization to flourish. Leaders must work toward building the capability for future. What we do determine the result we get. We need to check how much time and resources are spent in fulfilling the current need versus improving the capability for future. We do not need to transform entire system, but just align actions to purpose and results would follow. I was once traveling from Mumbai to Pune by train and happened to meet an enlightened woman who incidentally was traveling in same coupe. I did not know her, but people used to call her Ma. I consider these as some enlightened soul who can see what you do not. We started discussing life and we deliberated a lot about purpose and liberation. I remember her parting sentence after around uh, two to three hours of deliberations. She just said, Praveen, to get clarity and achieve purpose, we need to find a guru, a leader. Surrender ourselves and rest, leader will take care. Surrender is the word. Later when I studied Vedas, I found this is Bhakti Yo, one of the path for achieving liberation. What a priest does in religion, coach does for the corporate. Every successful leader, sportsman has a coach. So, find yourself a coach whom you can trust and devote yourself. Even if you already have clarity, coach will bring accountability for you. Third path for liberation is action or karm you. In corporate, all of us are warriors on ground to accomplish purpose. Taking action is key because result come from action. There is no alternate way to achieve result than to take action. Leaders or coach guide us on what action should be taken. When our actions are guided by our own wisdom, under the guidance of a coach, results are assured. So for corporate liberation, 
Number one, focus on knowledge for self and the people. Number two, identify a coach or a leader to follow. And number three, take action under their guidance. FGNC, as a consulting organization, is adding value to industry through its unique interventions. Interventions which are experiential, which has come from leadership, which has come from the experience of handling various situations, which are, these are brought to life through consulting workshops and conferences. One such intervention is Master's Transformation Conference. We are recognized through various awards for unique interventions that we use. You can reach us at support at the rate of gnc.co.in and I thank you personally for your time and wish you success. Win by change. Thank you.